Jackson 130 U telescope. Can you see this? This is the main telescope. Now I'm just showing you the other parts of this telescope. So this one, 130 EQ barrel. I'm just opening the front panel. See, this is the main mirror. This is the first primary mirror. And here, this one is the secondary mirror. You can see, this one is the secondary mirror. Just closing it. This is the portion from where we can observe and we can put the lenses. I'm just opening this dust cover. So from here we can see by putting the lenses. See that is the secondary mirror which we can see from here. And these are two screws to connect properly the lenses just putting the back the dust cover again and this is the button roller for focus and defocus so by any direction you can roll it to make it focus and this is the panel where you can put the finder scope this is the microscope panel. Now I'm going to the next part of this 130Q. So I'm coming to the stand. This is a steel tripod. You can see it. I'm just putting the stand up. Now I'm putting this stand open. By dragging it so this is the stand of 130 EQ you can enlarge the stand by opening this side key I'm just losing this key and if you pull it it will be bigger like this then you can again tighten this key so see how big is the stand so we can do it with other legs also the same keys are there in the legs so we can just loosen it and pull it then the stand can get bigger fine so this one is the part again i am just putting that back tightening the key and again this is the main stand now I'm going back to equilateral mount that is the main part of this telescope so see this is the equilateral mount if you can see properly this is the equilateral mount I'm just showing you this is the mount now whenever you get the mount with the back this portion this is the main portion which will go inside the tripod I will show you later and what you have to do while you get this and what are the uh, way you can operate this I will give you all the details in this video so this is equilateral mount now the next part of this telescope is this holder this is the holder there are two keys over there you can open lose the key lose the key and open the holder see this is the main holder where this barrel this telescope will come you have to put this barrel inside this holder and have to tight it so that it can hold the telescope and it can stay in the equilateral mount 
so this orange part of this holder is the holding equipment to hold into the equilateral part of the tripod the next thing is this is the key one key where you have to this use of the key is to adjust the latitude of the equilateral mount i'll show you later how this key works in the equilateral mount to adjust the latitude of the area this one is the finder scope this is a red dot finder scope whenever you there are three keys in this finder scope this one is the on off key see this white direction white spot direction this what uh, white spot direction is the off direction of this red dot finder so whenever i'm just putting it here see the click sound will come see now whenever i'm just giving it i'm just rolling this this is the maximum point that means when i put this white dot over here the depth of the red light will be high and when i'm just going back so it will be dimmer and this is switch off see the sound this is on this is off and this key is to move this finder scope on the left and right position by moving this whenever you put this finder scope into the telescope to adjust the alignment to align this uh, finder scope horizontally and vertically then you have to move this knob and this knob that is in the uh, downward of that finder scope this knob works like moving this finder scope up and down so this knob the under of the finder scope knob is for moving adjusting the up and down down position of this finder scope and this knob will help you to right and left adjustment fine so this is finder scope red dot finder scope then the next part is the tray this is the tray this tray will be in the tripod i will show you how it will work so whenever you put this tray inside the tripod so this what is the help of this tray then the tripod will not close automatically fine so after putting this tray inside the tripod the tripod will be in a proper balance and it will not close automatically so the tripod will not fall and what is the second uh, importance of this tri uh, tray whenever at night you are looking after the sky by the lenses and other gadgets at night you cannot see so you can put this uh, lenses barlows and other gadgets in this tray to get it handy fine the next part we are moving into the second thing is the holder this holder comes with this telescope this holder the uh, the feature of this holder is to hold the weight of the telescope to balance the equilateral mount and the telescope properly i'll show you in de details now i'm coming back to this two part these are the weights of the telescope to control the equilateral mount in a proper balance so these two weights will be inside that holder i have already shown you the holder so this is the steel holder where this will go inside and this total part will balance the telescope and the equilateral mount in a proper way and this orange key is the safety key of the holder i will show you in details in the details video what the next these are two keys one is horizontal and vertical key any one the key you can put in a horizontal part and the vertical part to control the telescope 
on moving horizontally or vertically in a very fine way so it's we can call it a fine tuner horizontally and vertically by this knob suppose you are looking at the moon for five minutes so whenever you just uh, focus the moon in the telescope on the eyepiece so after few seconds you will see the moon has already moved from the position where you have already focused so everything is rotating the earth is rotating the moon is rotating so whenever we have to go with the moon's rotation or any planet's rotation this key will help us because whenever we rotate this key slowly then the barrel or the telescope can rotate on that direction where the moon is going in the direction the moon is going or the other planets are going so these are the fine tune uh, keys of the telescope the next important part is the lenses now we are showing these two lenses see this is celestron 20 mm erecting eyepiece this is the dust cap which i am opening see this is the lens and you have to pull it up this rubber band which will protect the lens on getting from getting dust and other moistures from your eyes or faces fine so this is 20 mm lens what this 20 mm lens do whenever we put this 20 mm lens into the telescope we can see the broader area of the location for example if we want to see the uh, nebulas or broader area part then we have to focus by this 20 mm lens another lens comes with this part is 10 mm so what is the point of using 10 mm lens to zoom it or to focus it nearer by this 10 mm lens so whenever we are just going to see the jupiter saturn or other uh, planets we have to focus first with 20 mm then whenever we want to see it closer then open the 20 mm from the telescope and put the 10 mm into it to zoom it more fine and the two other things comes with this pack is this one is a screwdriver with all kind of threads which has already been used in this telescope another one is the dust cloth so by this cloth you can clean the lenses of the telescope thank you hi everyone uh, this is Shuman from sky watching workshop uh, today we are going to show you how to assemble a 130 eq celestron 130 eq telescope so in the previous section i have already shown you the how, what are the parts what are we are getting in the box of celestron 130 eq and what are the use of those parts i have already introduced that now i'm just going to show you how to assemble this 130 eq properly so i will give you the details step by step now, I have already shown, this is the tripod, if you can see properly, I am just arranging it. So this is the tripod and where we will assemble the total telescope and show you step by step so again this tripod comes like this way you have to open it and just pull just give some pressure and it will come straight and the tripod will open just put the tripod over here the next important part of this assembly is to use the tray to lock the tripod's leg so, if you can see, I'm just taking it closer. See, there are three threads one, two, and three. These are the three threads 
in the tray and where the straits will attach inside the tripods head see here are three threads one two and three so how we will attach this tray just pull a little bit the stand of the tripod and just getting it closer so that you can see properly so just pull this head of the uh, thread then put the tray into it just put it like the thread is over there and match it with the tray and just move it until it gets into the lock portions three lock portions see now this tripod is steady you cannot close this tripod this is ready to assemble the telescope the very next part of this uh, assembly is we will now install the mount see the mount whenever we open and take it from the box we get the mount like this direction see one direction and this is the second direction what you have to do there are two knobs this is the first knob you have to lose this knob and just rotate this on the opposite direction on the opposite direction like this is the one direction and this orange direction will be in the same and this part will be on the opposite direction of this end position so again i am showing you what you have to do i am just taking it back see these are the two positions which we get whenever we unbox the equilateral mount so whenever we get this we just lose this knob and rotate this to the opposite direction until and unless it comes in the straight line of this orange and the main thread of this equilateral mount then again you tight it so that this should not move this is the way you have to first align this equilateral mount then you have to put this equilateral mount over here and there is a knob or key under this tripod so after putting this equilateral mount into it you have to tight it properly so that this equilateral mount should not drop tight it until it gets full tight so i have done it now this equilateral mount and the tripod is ready for holding the telescope now the next part see on the back side of this equilateral mount there is a screw hole i have already shown you introduced you with this key i have told you that this key will adjust the latitude of this equilateral mount the latitude of the place where you are staying so before installing it wherever you are in the world you first check the latitude position of your location if i am just considering we are in calcutta the latitude of calcutta is 22.5 so after putting this key over the hole i have to tight it so whenever i tight there is a scale you see the scale this is the scale if you can see from 0 to 80 is the measurement of the scale so now i have to take it till 22.5 so i'm just rolling this key key will start moving to 22. 5x See it is moving Now it is near 20 So 
so I rotate and make it 22.5 now if you can see the position of the tripod and the equilateral mount see it is lightly tilted see it is lightly tilted with the latitude of the press now what we'll do this is the part you have already completed now we will assemble putting this weight rod into this orange panel which is here so put this key over there tight it properly and next what we have to do we have to open the safety key which is under this rod so after opening this safety key then I will install the make over here now another prime thing which I will show you which is there inside the weight see here you can see a small holder that is from one end to another whenever I lose it see the holder will automatically go down see now the hole is completely clear so whenever you open this key you have to have the thing in mind that that key should open properly or else you cannot put this weight rod into the channel now after getting that on the other side I will put this weight rod over here tight this key properly so that weight cannot come down again open the same thing see that counterpart that lock has been removed from the hole then put this knob and tie it properly then put back the safety key under this channel okay now my equilateral mount is ready to get the telescope into it now what we will do this is my telescope being in that telescope okay so this is the front part of the telescope from where we can move this dust cap this is the position where I have already shown you where you can put the finder red dot finder scope over here and this is the part where we can put the eyepiece and this is the roller for adjusting the focus of the telescope now what we'll do next we'll cover the dust cap properly first then the holder of this telescope is here another orange one I've shown you on the previous section that there are two nuts have to open properly open it open it then open this holder and you have to keep it in mind whenever we put this holder into the telescope this portion see this is one portion and this is the second portion where our counter nut is there washer fine so this will be on the back side and this will be the front fine so opening this what I will do I will put the telescope over this holder ok then I
lock this holder properly. Tighten this lock again, the second one in the same way, open it in a proper way and tighten it. Now this holder is ready to hold into the tripod. The next thing is, I will show you the part. Yeah, there are two keys. Just bring it front. This one is the key and this is the second key. If I zoom it, now you can see this one is one key which you have to lose it properly and this is the second safety key which we have to lose it properly. Now you have to keep it in mind that this is the direction of the front of the telescope. So I will put the telescope into this mount. So this is the front of the telescope, this is the front of the telescope, so we will put this like this way. Put the holder over here. Now we have to tighten it properly, tighten with this key. First, properly, then tighten the secondary key. Okay, now this is ready to use. Okay, now you can see, I just show you the whole thing. This is the telescope which I have already assembled it properly. Now this is the front part and this is the part where you have to put the telescope. This is the section from where you have to put the eyepiece and you can see. Now there are two other things we have to install. One is I have already told you these are the two keys to operate the telescope in a very slow motion way. Now there are two positions to put this key. Number one is this is the front one, front channel. There is the screw. Just loose the screw. Then put it into the thread, this panel and tighten the screw. Second part is this. You can put it over here and if you want you can put it on the opposite direction also. So I am just putting this over here and tight it properly. See when I am just moving this, see this telescope is moving on a, this direction. You can see this is going this side and this is coming back this side. This is the key to move the telescope on this direction. This is the key. To move the telescope in this direction. See, when I am just moving, the telescope is moving on this direction. Again, it is going back to the other direction. Okay. 
okay now it is ready for observation now i have to install another last part which is the finder scope so the red dot finder scope this is the red dot finder scope i am showing you here is a sticker or a channel is there you just open this sticker so that the battery can start operating properly see you cannot see the red dot i'll show you the red dot now this is the key i've shown you whatever you put see the red light will start coming can see the red light i'm showing you see the red light here here is the red light this red light will focus the stars at night properly so whenever i'm just switching off see it is brighter see when i'm switching off it's off the light is off so this is the red dot finder okay now i will install this red dot finder into the telescope what i will install in the top portion of this so there are two keys you have to lose these two keys by that screwdriver given with the telescope see i'm losing it lose it properly then put this over here this will be the front side of that Tighten it properly. Those two screws, so that it can drop. Now your telescope is ready for observation. How will observe? I will show you the method to observe. See, we have two eyepieces. One is 20 mm, and one other is 10 mm. So first of all. We will use the 20 mm eyepiece. Open the dust cap from here. Open this dust cap from here. Lose these two keys from the eyepiece. Put the eyepiece over here. Again. tighten the screws properly then here is one key i'm showing you here is one key lose this key after losing this you will see the telescope can move on this direction after losing that key you see the telescope can move in this direction again i'm tightening this tight it properly so the movement will stop the next key is on the other part see this is the second key this one so whenever you lose this key so you can move the telescope in a different direction right so by losing this key little bit and losing this key little bit you can operate the telescope in a proper way So focus it properly. Then put your eyes over here. Adjust this knob to get the object in focus and start observing. Thank you very much. Observe the night sky in a proper way. If you need any help, the number is given in the direction below. With all the details of our website and myself shuman is there available 2027 to guide you and give you the proper information about all the please subscribe our channel please like if you like this video and please share as much as you can so that everyone can get this information get this Thank you. Thank you very much.